Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in this video, we are going to solve another question of the same JAM 2024 chemistry paper. The question is acidity of the compound shown below follows the order. So four compounds are given and we have to determine the order of acidity. So what does the acidity depend on? Acidity basically depends on the, it is directly proportional to the stability of the conjugate base. Okay, what is a conjugate base? The species formed after loss of H plus ion. Species formed after loss of H plus ion. Okay, so in all these compounds, which is the acidic proton, I will circle that this is the acidic proton, this, this and this. So what we can do is we can draw the conjugate base for all the four structures. So greater the stability of the conjugate base, greater will, its, will be its acidity. Okay, so first compound, if I remove this H, we will get this conjugate base. Second compound, this is the conjugate base third and fourth these are the conjugate bases okay i will label them one two three and four now this is a question based on two things one is acidity means it is a concept of goc plus what we have to do is you can see all our cyclic compounds so you must come to know that it is a topic of aromatic compounds or aromaticity okay so the which of the following ions Conjugate base will be most stable. We know aromatic compounds. Okay, aromatic compounds are most stable. Aromatic ions are most stable. So, what is the condition for a compound to be aromatic? It should be cyclic. Okay, then it should have conjugation. Okay, it should be planar. And then it should follow 4n plus 2, it should have 4n plus 2 pi electrons, that is Huckel's rule of aromaticity. So, which of the following ions you can see is aromatic? So, here you can see 2 plus 2, 4. Okay, so it follows 4n pi electron rule. If I put n is equal to 1, it will be 4 pi electrons. So, this is what? This is anti aromatic. Okay, now here if you see 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6 pi electrons. This is what? This is aromatic. Okay, this will come to it later on. This, uh, there is aromatic character that is present, but what we are seeing here is, here we are seeing the stability of the negatively charged ion. So, we will come to this later on. Fourth one, again, if you see 2, 4, 6 and 8. So, this is also following 4 and pi this 4n pi rule, if n is equal to 2, we get 8 pi electrons. Okay, this is what, this is also anti-aromatic. Now, <clears throat> aromatic is most stable. So, which one will be most stable? We have to write down in the decreasing order. So, the, sec the second compound is most stable. Okay, the second one is most stable. Now, between 1, 3 and 4, how do you decide? Okay, now if you see, uh, okay, keeping aside the aromatic character, okay, we know that anti-aromatic species are, uh, ions are least stable, but what will happen is, here we, uh, we can also, we have to also see the stability in terms of conjugation. Okay, so here if you see the negative charge, although it is anti-aromatic, we know there is conjugation present in anti-aromatic ions as well. So here you can see the conjugation, negative charge is involved in conjugation with three pi bonds, right? And here if you see the first compound, here if you see the negative charge is involved in conjugation with only one pi bond, okay? Plus, this is already electron rich and methyl, this methyl will also destabilize the conjugate base by, because it is donating via plus I inductive effect. Already this is electron rich, we are providing more electrons by adding a methyl group. So, one is going to be least stable. Okay. Now, the remaining compounds are between 3 and 4, which is going to be more stable. The fourth one is going to be more stable. Why? Because in 
third one here you can you can see here there is only sp2 hybridized carbon that is present okay that is stabilizing the negative charge because of the virtue of the percentage s character okay there is 33 percent s character due to which the negative charge is stabilized but there is no resonance right we know resonance is dominant over hyperconjugation over inductive effect so resonance is the dominating effect so in the fourth one if you see the negative charge is delocalized okay over several pi bonds so this is going to be the more stable system the more stable conjugate base and then will come three and one okay one will be least stable there are various factors one it is anti-aromatic second there is methyl group which is donating electron density by plus i inductive effect another important factor is you have to take care of the ring size okay three membered ring is highly unstable because of the uh, angle strain okay because of the angle strain or we can say bear strain okay whereas eight membered ring is comparatively stable as compared to a three membered ring okay so this is the correct order of uh, stability and same will be the order for acidity two four three one so what is the correct answer correct answer is option b Okay, I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.